So I read this book earlier this summer, and this stuff, I tell you what, fists ball up all by themselves sometimes. Where did the Etruscans come from? Did I ever tell you that? I just showed you that. Mysteries of the past. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here I'd love to do videos on. I just don't have the time. But anyway, this is a real good one. In theory, we should know a lot more about these shadowy people, the Etruscans. They lived, after all, not so very long ago in the millennium just before Christ. From their homeland of Erturi, I don't care if I'm saying it right, who cares? In West Central Italy, they were moreover in regular contact with other Mediterranean peoples. The Greek colonists of Southern Italy and Sicily, their sometimes enemies, the transplanted Phoenicians, the purple people eaters, the people who used to bash kids on the head of Carthage in North Africa, their allies, and finally, an aggressive people on their southern flank, the Romans. Their contributions to Roman civilization and art, architecture, and city planning, and to military organization and tactics, and dress, manners, and customs, and technology, and especially religion, are many and well documented. And although the Romans, after subjugating them, blotted out most visible signs of their existence, the Etruscans left behind in underground cemeteries loaded with paintings, statues, and other artifacts a rich and curiously appealing record of their vibrant civilization. So let's see what else these people did, who the Greeks did, and the Phoenicians did, and the Romans did, and the Persians did, and everybody else did. Let's see, where is it? I got it marked on here. Women and men as equals keenly enjoying their physical, earthly existence... In sex in the 4th century B.C., a Greek historian wrote, It is not shameful to the Etruscans to be seen not only appearing to, or preparing excuse me, to do the thing, but also performing it. When friends and relatives have feasted together, he went on, the slaves bring to them. First prostitutes by and by pretty young boys. This is where I just get so, so sick of this stuff. I am just so tired of this shit. Then, even the women married to those who took part in the festivities, they all engaged in making love. You see, Legion, Capricronus, they love them young, they love to do gay stuff, I guarantee there was all kinds of butt shit that was going on here. And this is all passed down from people to people, generation to gener generation, civilization to civilization, and they all did this. The Persians used to have poetry about being with young boys and, and banging young boys and having young boys sex slaves. And the Romans took them with them and it's banged them on the war. And it's just, you read this shit and it's just all over the place, man. And they're doing it today with Epstein and all the other people that we don't even know their names of that are worse than Epstein. And all this shit continues today. And I just, oh my gosh, and, pr and by and by, pretty young boys and everybody just had sex. Well, that's terrific. You know what? You don't do that in heaven. You don't pull that shit there. You only do that shit down this perverted realm that's been completely just turned upside down and good luck. Just, that's fun. Yeah, all right. What have you done for love today? Pretty young boys. Oh, yeah. Capricronus. She loves pretty young boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, feel the hate. Summer slam.